okay so so this here is a potential solution of the game that means the solution being that q player 1 plays q1 star star and player 2 comes up with a a quantity it comes up uh, comes up with a plan to play gamma 2 star star and the actual quantity that he ends up producing is gamma 2 star star which is a function of q1 star star gamma 2 star star the actual quantity that he produces is gamma 2 star star of q1 star star so this here is the action the, these two are the strategies so then if this seems like a very natural gameplay player player 2 is going to respond with uh, uh, by maximizing his profit as a function of anything that player 1 would have played keeping that in mind player 1 would then pick uh, pick a quantity that would uh, appropriately then maximize his anticipated profit from such action okay now tell me is there any other gameplay possible so we've gone about this kind of in an in a somewhat intuitive way, and what we have said is that we we said okay, this is what player uh, player two knows, so let him just optimize uh, his uh, profit as a function of Q1, and we got a certain function, and we said that should be this his his optimal strategy. Assuming that we said what should be player one's optimal strategy, we, there is a pitfall in this is that we have not, not really formally written out what is what do we want from a solution. Just the way we, you know, did for uh, simultaneous move games. See, in a simultaneous move game, we said, okay, what do we want from a solution? We want this, we, we, and we concluded that what we want is this property that in the uh, absence of communication, no player should have an, uh, uh, since there is no communication, no player should have an incentive to unilaterally deviate from his strategy. We have not really formally thought about this problem in that way. We just sort of, you know, solved this more like a puzzle, like okay, what, okay, what seems, you know, more like a, you know, like a newspaper puzzle. Okay, so what? Let's now formally write out again what sh what is it that we would want uh, as a solution of this game. So if we want to talk about solution of this game, we need to first ask, okay, we we decided what the strategies are. Okay, the strategy space, the uh, the space of strategies are. Space of strategies for player 1 is just 0 to infinity. Space of strategies for player 2 is, is all functions from 0 to 0 infinity to 0 infinity. This is now fixed. Now, what are players then trying to do? How are we solving for, for the game in this space of strategies? Yes, but okay. So, Players, so okay, let me ask you the following questions. Uh, when are these strategies being chosen? So, are these strategies chosen? When are these strategies being decided? So, are the so for in particular, let us look at a simultaneous move game, let us take matching pennies, both players would, each player play, the players play simultaneously or without revealing the, the one's action to the other, right. Now here the action of one is being told to the other. So there is, a, there seems to be like there is some communication going on in this game. So if there is some communication going on, then do we need to revisit the Nash equilibrium? Yeah, or I mean, uh, the so can we apply all the thinking that we had for the Nash equilibrium for this game? Hmm. So, so is it, can we? Can, so, so the the point is that because now this there is an observation involved here, player two can observe what player one is doing, and the simultaneous nature is lost. Then you know all our earlier thinking of unilateral deviations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, is that still valid? Okay. Why? Why is it still valid? Because I mean that's how games 
they are assuming that rational being is God himself. <laughs> no. See, that, that's why the, the earlier question that I asked matters. When are these when are these strategies being chosen? Ah, that's the main thing. See, there are two different, um, say, let's say, time instances where things are happening. One is when the strategies are being decided. Okay, that is when players decide to play their, when player two decides to play gamma two star star, and when player one decides to play gamma one star, uh, uh, sorry, Q one star star. Okay. So that is that is the that is one instance. The other instance is when the actions are decided. Okay, the action for player one is trivial; it is equal to his strategies. So you can say it, start, it is chosen at the start of the game. For player two, the action is not equal to his strategy. For player two, the action is equal to uh, equal to a function of his strategy, and for that uh, for that function to be evaluated. Player 1's action has to be put in as an argument, right? So player 2's, so player 2's action is is chosen during gameplay, but the strategies are chosen before before gameplay. So the communication that is happening, if at all, you know, or or any transfer of information that is happening, is happening during gameplay, not before gameplay. So at the time when the strategies are still being chosen, that means at the time when Q1 star star and gamma, gamma 2 star star are being decided, at that time the game was still a, a simultaneous move game. Because they are being chosen without knowledge of information of the other, what the other one has done. Action is being chosen later using the information of the action of the other player. But the strategies are being chosen simultaneously in much the same way as the strategies are being chosen as the kids are deciding whether to play heads or tails in the in the matching pennies game. Is this clear? The chronology <laughs> So the uh, so the 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 point is the the this is this is actually very important. The that you know you realize that the the strategies are being chosen at at the start of the game okay now why is it well defined to talk of strategies at the start of the game is this does this make sense is is it meaningful to define strategies at the start of the game do you have all the information needed to define strategies at the start of the game you do so on the other hand you don't have the information needed to define actions at the start of the game you player 2 cannot say how much he is going to produce he can only say how much he is going to produce as a function of what the other one would do. You know, he will say, oh, based on what the other one would do, I would do this. But he cannot say, we cannot put a number and say, I am going to produce this much quantity. So, what he, but he can say that at the start of the game, what is going to be my plan? That if he produces so much, I am going to produce so much, etc., etc. So, the entire function can be specified. So, a function gamma 2 that maps 0 infinity to 0 infinity can be specified at the start of the game for player 2. Similarly, a quantity can be specified for, specified for player 1. Okay. So, these strategies can be decided at the start of the game and therefore, it is possible to move this game to the space of strategies in which and in to a situation where the strategies are being chosen simultaneously. Is this clear? Okay. So, let us write out now the utilities of the players as a function of their strategies. Okay. So, let us write out first for uh, for player 2. So, for player, so what are the strategies of the players? Player 2 strategy is a function gamma 2. Player 1 strategy is, is a quantity q1. Okay. I can even write, you know, for if you want for symmetry, I can even write that the quantity uh, that player 1 strategy is also a function. It is a function of no variable. So, it is basically a quantity. It is a, it's a, it's a constant, you, you know. Uh, so, it is not a function of any variable. So, it is a trivial function, but uh, you know, we can, so this is, this is also, you know, in some sense a function gamma 1 of, of no variable. 
So, in other words, it is a constant function. Okay. So, what is this gamma uh, j 2 of gamma 2 comma q 1? So, this is equal to u 2 u 2 of we are right trying to write the payoff of player 2 as a function of his strategy now, not as a function of quantity. U 2 was in the space of quantities right or is, is was in the space of actions as a function. So, now as a function of the strategy I want to write this. So, as a function of this yeah. So, it will be gamma 2 of q 1 comma q 1. Now, question is is this well defined is this a number? it is a number because I if I give you a quantity q 1 and a function gamma 2 this evaluates to a number. If q 1 was a function of something else then I would need to give you that something else for this to become a number ok, but q 1 is a is already a number. So, this is this is now a, this is now a number ok. Likewise for ok. Likewise, this is also well defined ok. So, now I can do the following I can say I will forget about this thing that I have that I have on the on the right this thing in this that I have on the right and just think of this these as my these as my payoffs. So, essentially now I have a game in which player 2 is choosing a value of a function or player 2 is just choosing a gamma 2 from a space capital gamma 2, player 1 is choosing a, a q 1 from 0 infinity, player 2 wants to maximize j 2, player 1 wants to maximize j 1 and these these choices are being made simultaneously right. So, if it now I can ask for a Nash equilibrium in the strategy space. So, Nash equilibrium of this game now is at And what is the Nash equilibrium now? The Nash equilibrium is that no player would want to deviate given the other players what the other player is playing uh, it is a profile of strategies such that no player has in, uh, would want to unilaterally deviate. So, which means that player 1 would want to stick to playing q 1 hat assuming the other player plays gamma 2 hat. and player 2 would not want to switch to a different function assuming player 1 sticks to a quantity q 1 hat ok. So, player 2 wants to stick to this function So, player 1 does not have an incentive to change its quantity assuming player 2 is going to respond with this plan the gamma 2 hat plan right and player 2 would not want to switch its plan assuming player 1 does not want to change its quantity from q 1 hat is this clear. So, this is for all q 1 in 0 infinity and this is for all functions gamma 2 now and gamma 2 this is now this is an Nash equilibrium this is the notion of an Nash equilibrium and it can be justified in just the same way as we justified an Nash equilibrium for a simultaneous move game. Although there is due coming there is an exchange of information during gameplay, we can still justify this Nash equilibrium as a valid solution concept because there is no exchange of information at the time of choosing strategy. Is this clear? Ok. Yeah. Player 1 does not know gamma 2. You mean you mean the gamma 2 that player 2 will. So, so, so we can justify this as a notion just the way we justified the Nash equilibrium right for a simultaneous move game. Uh, it is a point from which no player would want to unilaterally deviate. You know, we justify it as, as ok, if it, if any point has to be a solution, then it has to be one where 
give under the communication constraints deviation is not possible and just that deviation now is deviation in the in the appropriate strategy space for for player 1 it's in the in the space of quantities for player 2 it's in the space of functions or plans so it's different right because p1 knows gamma to hat because he knows p2 is rational we'll come to that No, no, no. I, I, uh, so, little while back, I said P1 can compute gamma 2 star star, that which is a specific strategy. Okay. It is a V, it is a device for him to compute his own quantity, which is Q1 star star. So, I was just trying to sort of do a mental reasoning. Can this be a potential way of solving the game? Okay. And, and I said in that, as a step in that, I said we can actually do this because this is a well defined thing for to compute a quantity is q1 star star it's i need to solve q player 1 has to solve this optimization for which he has to compute he needs gamma 2 star star for which he that he can solve by from the above optimization is this clear so it was just a, a sort of a, like a, 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 you can say a mental calculation to just arrive at some you know candidate strategy but after that i said uh, what we said was that you know, this is not a very formal reasoning because it is a very, uh, you know, sort of a case by case thing. We have just sort of heuristically reasoned that this is how it should work out. But then if we think of the problem in the space of strategies formally, really what you, all we are looking for is a Nash equilibrium now in a different space. And that is how we should be solving for the game. Okay.